Investigators are learning more about Stephen Paddock's planning in the months before Sunday night's massacre in Las Vegas. There's information tonight that the gunman scoped out other possible venues for his crimes. CBS's Danielle Nottingham reports. Investigators reconstructing Stephen Paddock's movements say the Las Vegas gunman looked at bigger music festivals like Lollapalooza before setting his sights on a country music concert outside Mandalay Bay Sunday night. Officials say in August, Paddock booked a room at the Blackstone Hotel overlooking Lollapalooza in Chicago, but never checked in. He booked another room last month for the Life is Beautiful show near the Vegas Strip, and he may also have researched locations near Boston's Fenway Park. Police are looking for anyone who came in contact with Paddock before the shooting, including a woman reportedly seen with him at the Mandalay Bay Casino. Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, spoke with the FBI Wednesday. A law enforcement official tells CBS News Danley was concerned about Paddock's mental stability. He doesn't fit any of the profiles until they, they, they can actually completely complete this investigation. We're not going to know what was on his mind, and we may never know, actually. Since October of last year, Paddock stockpiled 33 weapons from different gun stores in several states, avoiding any red flags. His car also contained ammunition, fertilizer, and the powerful explosive Tannerite. A moment of silence was observed at the Patriots-Buccaneers game in Tampa Thursday night in memory of Paddock's victims. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Las Vegas.